I hope you're all doing well and taking care and welcome to this brand new Doctor Who video on the channel. So today we have a new interview with the main man himself to talk about, Russell T Davis, where he is asked directly how long he will be returning as the new Doctor Who showrunner. I know he's just started but people already are asking him how long he's going to be in the job for and yeah it's interesting to talk about and it might give us a bit of an indication what he has planned for the foreseeable future of the show. Before that though, if you're a big fan of Dog 2, like myself, then a subscribe to the channel would be really appreciated. I haven't been doing as much content recently just because it has been a bit quieter. We really haven't had much filming updates at all recently. We haven't had any news or anything like that. So apologies, I've been a bit quieter, but hopefully as filming progresses, we see more public filming, more to talk about. And also, we're only eight months away now from the big 60th anniversary celebration, so hopefully from around July, August time onwards, we'll get big Doctor Who news to talk about, which will obviously be great to see. But let's go on and have a little bit of a look at this new interview from the main man himself, Russell T Davis. Okay, so this is coming from the Irish news, and it is. Russell T Davis plans to spend years on second stint as Doctor Who showrunner. Russell T Davis has said he feels he will have to spend years on Doctor Who after returning as showrunner and that he does not intend to work on any other TV projects for a while. Appearing on the Table Manners podcast, so I haven't seen this podcast before, but um, yeah, go and check it out. Davis was asked about how long he intends his second stint with the programme to last. He said, for years actually, I will have to spend years on that. Asked Wheeler he would be working on any other projects, he replied, not for a while, I am sorry, time to give these young people a bit of space. However, he later added, don't worry, I am already talking about things that will get made. Speaking about returning to the programme, after 13 years away, he said, it is lovely. I only came back because I had things to do and things I wanted to do to it and stories I wanted to write. So yeah, I think Russell's coming back because... He probably wants to make Doctor Who more popular again because I feel in the UK over the last few years it's not as popular as it used to be. I remember growing up and Doctor Who was just everywhere. It was it was mad. But these days it just doesn't feel the same. It just feels like Doctor Who has lost its kind of status a bit in the UK. So I think that's why Russell's probably coming back and he's going to try and make it a bit more bigger once again. It doesn't feel like going back. It's a cliche but it feels like going forward. He recalled relaunching the programme in 2005 with Christopher Eccleston playing the Ninth Doctor as mad. He added, do you remember 2005 when it just, it was nuts. Doctor Who madness. The fact that I have loved that show my entire life and it is my first memory in life. Not just my first memory of television, but my first memory of life. I remember watching William Hartnell regenerate, I can remember it. So then imagine all those years later in 2005, it becomes the number one show in Britain. It's like, how lucky am I? Very, very lucky. And like I said, I, I think that's why Russell's coming back because he wants Doctor Who to be kind of known as a, a British flagship show. And I feel it's kind of lost that status, sadly, over the years. So I think that's why Russell's coming back. And obviously, because he's just a, a huge hooven like us, he loves the show with all his heart. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what he is going to do with the show moving forward. So yeah, it's certainly interesting that Russell plans to spend a very long time on Doctor Who but really it's no surprise when you think about it because we know already that as part of Russell's new vision for the show there is going to be the return of Doctor Who spin-offs going forward and when you think about it it's very likely that process could take quite a while because as much for us Doctor Who fans we would obviously love to have spin-offs return straight after Doctor Who series 14 and that is a possibility However, it is likely we might have to actually wait until 2025 or 2026 until after series 15 because if we go back to the first Russell T Davis tenure of the show, it wasn't until after series 2 in 2006 that we eventually got the Sarah Jane Adventures and Torchwood and that was because Russell had to build on his new series, his new era, his new vision of the Doctor Who universe first before spin-offs could be added to the mix. So yeah, I think it's important to remember we might be waiting quite a few years yet before we see any spin-offs arrive and then it'll take a few years after that to really build on Russell's new Doctor Who universe for the show, which is obviously 
very exciting. So yeah, the idea that Russell may be planning to stay around for a while, I think it's good news. It gives him lots of time to build on his Doctor Who vision and we may even get to see Russell right for a second Doctor because I feel the expectation so far is that Russell will leave whenever Shuti Gatwa decides to step down. But if Russell is in this for the very long term and doesn't have any plans to leave anytime soon, then maybe we will see Russell Wright for a second Doctor as well. I would obviously love to see Russell Wright for a female Doctor because as much as I love Jodie Whittaker in the role, I have said that the writing for Jodie Whittaker's tenure was unfortunately pretty disappointing in my opinion. Series 11 wasn't great, Series 12 was a big improvement, but then Flux was just a mess. So I would definitely be up for Russell writing for a female Doctor. I think he would do an incredible job with a female in the role. So maybe we will get to see that happen after all. But overall, I am happy that Russell plans to stay around for a while. He's only just getting started and I think it will give him plenty of time to build on whatever he has planned for Doctor Who. And we might see Doctor Who return to its helm of popularity because I feel Doctor Who's popularity over the last few years, it hasn't been terrible. It's probably been average, but I feel it could be a lot better. And it would be great to see Doctor Who return to its big glory days of being popular in the UK and around the world. But there we go guys, thank you all very much for watching this video. Please do subscribe for more Dog 2 content in the future. And you guys for watching, take care and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.